There's a magician's code that generally prevents such things, as I'm sure you know. You made some comments in the past about street magic. You're not a fan, are you? I'm not. To me, this uh, hit-and-run style sort of strips the mystique, the showmanship from the true illusionist. It's the ultimate trivialization of the craft to reduce it to the effect only. Well, what do you mean? I mean, isn't that what people want? Let me show you. Brand new deck of cards. Open them up. Give them a shuffle. Cut the deck. Deal off the top five cards just in a row. Point to one. Eight of clubs. Impressive. Now watch this. My grandfather was stationed in Strasbourg during the Second World War. One night, his regiment was sent on a mission into the Black Forest. In the gloom of the trees, and becoming separated from the rest of his men, my grandfather came across an old man dressed in a cowl, hunched over a small fire. Suddenly, there was a tremendous explosion, and my grandfather was thrown to the ground. When he recovered, the old man had disappeared, leaving only this box, which contained these cards and an inscription. Zikonin den tot nicht betrugen. What does that mean? You can't cheat death. Shuffle the cards. They are, of course, the 22 major arcana from the traditional tarot deck, and they represent life's spiritual lessons. Now, before we begin, look through and find the one card nobody wants to see in a reading. Death. What do you mean here? Back in the box, out of the way. Like the old man by the fire. Now, cut the deck and deal off the top five cards forming the shape of the Celtic cross, like so. And as you do, think very carefully about your future. What kind of life do you see for yourself, Gabriel? Now let's see what you have chosen. The Wheel of Fortune, you're putting yourself in the hands of fate. The Hierophant, a figure representing wisdom, a teacher, perhaps. Could be my granddad. Possibly. Justice, you wish to right a wrong from your past, rebalance the scales, and the magician. Well, we all know they can't be trusted. And this final card represents your future. At least we know it can't be the death cards. Oh dear. Reveal your fate, Gabriel. So essentially, it's the same trick. A rough and smooth deck with a slip card force, the added theatrics of the switch box with the music giving you the atmosphere. The misdirection is the elaborate narrative that allows a simple trick to hide in plain sight. I know which one I prefer. Thank you. 